Okay, dude, don't run into TT. Oh my god. Actually, you know what? I kind of wanted to run into TT because I like the song that plays when you're in this like interface with him. Just like listen to it for a bit, a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, when I was young, like me and my sister, we like made up some weird dance to this TT music. I think it actually had lyrics too. If I can, I, dude, those are like on the tip of my tongue, those freaking lyrics. I wish I could sing them for you, or if I could do that dance, because I remember the dance. It's like one of the craziest dances, and just it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, but it's just like, just like that song that plays when TT is there. It's just like one of the like the happiest, but also one of the most crazy tunes that you can like ever possibly hear. But it's just so much fun. I don't know. Alright, so I guess we're going for silver coins now. Is that what we're doing? I would see, it would seem so. No, we're not going for golden coins. We're not going for the six golden coins, like a warrior or whatever. Alright, dude, is that Conquer ahead of me? I don't know if it was. It is Conquer, isn't it? I can't tell. <laughs> I know, it's really weird. Like, you can't see that bu big bushy tail. It's obviously Conquer, dude. <laughs> like, it's not like it's going to be like... Diddy or something. Diddy does not have like a big bushy tail like that. Holy oh, crap, how's Conquer staying so far ahead of me though? That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Conquer's starting to shape up to be my ultimate rival in this quest. That's kind of. In a way, that's kind of ironic. Oh, considering the LPs that are going on at the moment. Alright, dude, my chin is so itchy. I can't. But I can't scratch my chin. Dude, I can't, I can't scratch my chin because I'm so focused on the race. But because I'm focused on the race, and now the chin's like going to distract my focus and I'm going to do worse. So it's like an infinite loop of suck because I can't scratch my chin. Oh my god, I hate it when I can't do that. Dude, it's like one of the worst things. Like, holy cow. Right, no, get the, get the, get, get, dude, I missed the coin. I have to go back for it now. I have to go back. Oh my god. Oh, I have to go back for him. We can't just leave him there. He's dead already! He's dead! Ugh, my chin, dude! My fucking chin! It's so itchy! Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm so gonna die. And I'm gonna lose the race, too. I'm gonna be dead, and I'm gonna lose the race. That's not fair. It's not fair. But I got all the eight coins. Please, just let me end win. And win. Dude, and win. And chin, and scratch the chin! No. <laughs> well, at least I scratched my chin. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I just went crazy there at the end. I don't even know what I was doing half the time. Alright. Let's try it again, I suppose. Just get back on that horse. Get back on the horse like, um... Who's that one guy? The one guy from the one movie. Dude, no one knows you're talking about, um... I'm being so vague about it. Oh my god, that's gonna annoy me now. There's some guy from a movie, he's just like the most persistent guy that I ever saw in a movie. And it's just like, oh my god, you can just never quit. Oh, but since I can't think of that, I think I'll just have to go with my second best reference of someone who is persistent and just say facade. Yeah, frickin' facade, man. I hate that guy. Can't wait to LP Mother 3 someday, that's gonna be so fun. See you, bumper. Oh no, you're right on my bumper, bumper. Oh, bumper, bumper. Meow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that funny sound. That's like the funniest sound when you pass bumper. He just goes like meow. It's like oh, I miss. Meow. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna, I missed that coin. Well, I have one more lap to get it, so whatever. Oh. When I first like did this course like as a kid, I thought for sure that they would hide one of the silver coins up by where the snowmen are at the very end of like the lap or at the end of the course. I thought for sure that would be like where one of the snow, where one of the silver coins was. Now my nose is itchy. That sucks. Because it just seems like the most perfect spot to hide a silver coin ever. Like, you can just, like, hide it behind a snowman. Because you can't actually fly through a snowman, which is hilarious. It's like they're paper snowmen. Okay, get the coin. Don't miss it. 
There we go. Dude, why am I so itchy today? That's just ridiculous. I haven't been getting a lot of mosquito bites lately, though, I suppose. Yeah, like, see, I thought they would, like, put one up here or something, like, behind this guy. It would make sense. But, whatever. Okay. Oh, did I actually miss the tree there? Normally, after the race, you hit that tree and just go, like, boing, It's just so ridiculous. It's, like, pre-programmed to do that almost every time. Oh, what time am I have to? I'm out to 21 minutes. Well, you know what? I might as well just keep recording and make this into a second video or something. Alright, what do I want to do now? I want to go to Walrus Cove, don't I? Walrus Cove. See, even when I go to Walrus Cove, I can't help but thinking about that old man voice that the snowy guy has. I can't remember his name. I only remember the names of, like, two of the bosses in this game. Well, I guess three, but Wizpig doesn't count. But I remember, like, one of them is named Bubbly, and the other one's named Smokey. Oh, you know, like, sm get your Smokey on. Prevent you, only you can prevent forest fires. Jeez, it's not kind of ironic that I'm saying that. Well, not even ironic, it's just kind of stupid that I'm saying that in, like, the snowy course. In the snowy depths of the mountains, I'm saying only you can prevent forest fires. Dude, why am I so dumb tonight? I don't know. Like, this is, like, oh, I just, like, record, like, today I also, like, recorded episode 10 of Kirby's Epi Epic Yarn, and I'm recording this, like, right after uploading that, pretty much. And it's just, like, I don't know, the commentary in that one was really dumb, too. It was just, like, I don't know, I seem to be hitting kind of a commentary writer's block, if that works, a commentary, a commentator's block? Is that what you would call that? I don't know. Oh, for all I know, I could just call it an LPR's block. Or I could just call it writer's block, I guess. I'm missing three coins, and I'm not sure where they are, to be honest. I know one of them's, like, right up here. Oh, because that's just... What, that one's just so out of the way. You can't possibly forget that when you get it the first time. Oh, I think one of them's actually around over here, and you gotta be careful. Because... Boing, boing, boing! <laughs> I love that. I love that when you hit the ice and you just bounce, you go boing, boing, boing. I think I saw the other one off to the side, too. Yeah, so the last coin, I'm pretty sure I know where it is. But we're gonna have to do one final lap to get it. No problems here. Dude, they, <laughs> these computer players, they're right on me. If I like, go out of my way to get that last silver coin, which I have to do, I'm gonna lose the race. Oh my god, now I come to a crossroads. Lose the race, or get the money. Jeez, man. Never thought my life would get this tense. Oh, and I have like... Over like I have like hundreds of people watching this. They have to watch me as I make the lone decision. What will I do? What will I do? I trust in the money to guide me through. All right, go, go, go. They're catching up, dude. No. All right, I think I still got this. I think I got it. There we go. I and wind. Well, t not and wind. That's like and foosh. This foosh is a wind. 24 minutes, I suppose I can go for a little bit longer here, just make like two solid 15 minute videos. Eh, I guess I'll just do Snowball Valley and then call it a day though. I'm up to 20 balloons, I almost have like half of them now. It's crazy. Okay. Mm, I remember some kind of crazy childhood memory with this place, but I don't, I, well I don't, I, I say I remember it, but... Dude, I just got stuck inside that tree for the longest- I've, ar I've already lost the race, I can tell you that. Right now. Boy, I tell you what, I tell you what, I tell you what. Alright, well, maybe not. Yeah, now I'm back in first, but I didn't get shit for silver coins that time. I only got like- well, I got half of them, I guess that's okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure there's one off in this direction, too. Oh, uh, there better be. Yes, there is, okay. I was about to get all mad if there wasn't. Dude, Diddy, you just, like, cut in front. Alright, oh, I just picked up a silver coin and I didn't even realize it. Okay, so I have one more silver coin to pick up, and I'm pretty sure it's in that valley with the rolling snowballs. The rolling snowballs that have eyes and noses, but no mouths, surprisingly. Uh, I guess they think, I th they thought that, like, if you put mouths on them, then it would make them scarier. Because, like, everything is scarier with the mouth. Has anyone ever noticed that? Because, like, with some something with a mouth... You're just inclined to believe, especially if it's open and or it's like not smiling or something. You're inclined to believe that like it's just like that the person's just like I don't know, it's hard to describe. But you just have some kind of more like 
You're more cautious towards things with mouths. I don't know, maybe that's just me being really dumb. Oh, dude, I just did that in like one minute. Did I really just do that in like one minute? That's crazy. Oh, well, you know what? We have a little tiny bit of time left in this video, it looks like. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can do the final challenge against the genie. Oh, look at that, I can. Cool. Alright, is he gonna stay here? Oh, no, I wasn't in the plane, so he didn't have to change my vehicle. I was hoping it would say Alakazoo right there. Because, like, when he, like, changes vehicles for you, then that's, what, that's like, what he says sometimes. Most of the time he says, like, Alakadabra, but on the off chance, he does say Alakazoo. I think I like that word so much. Or like, I like the way he... Well, in combination with the way he says it, I like the word, too. Because it has the word kazoo in it. And kazoos are so much fun. Especially after hearing, like, like Luka Jin play that. Play the freaking kazoo. She's awesome on the kazoo, I tell you what. Aw, she could be a professional kazooist. What would you... Is that a kazoo, is a kazooist a real thing? Oh, for all I know, they're called a kazooie. I don't know. Dumb. I collect the flags. Yeah, when I was little, I thought you actually had to like collect the flags. And even now, I'm just still like flying through them, even though I know you don't have to collect them. Just because it gives me some kind of satisfaction to just hit the flag. Because like you rarely ever get to hit anything in this game that doesn't like screw you up. Oh. Even though your characters make funny sounds whenever it hits something. Especially tipped up, he goes like, "Ow!" I guess Bumper makes a funny sound to you. Probably go like, Nyaa! like he did when you pass him. Alright. And it looks like we win. You put up quite a fight this time, Genie. Because I guess you were using something you're used to. A flying carpet, but... Oh, yeah. Okay. And that is our 22nd balloon. That is 7 times 3 plus 1. Or I guess I could just say 11 times 2, whatever. Alright, but... Uh, I think that's going to be it for this video. I've recorded two videos in this session. Oh, that's the same thing I did with my Kirby session today. How crazy. Alright, well, for now though, thanks everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, Hello, and good night. <laughs> Yay! He's dead it. I'm so happy.